Captain Michael this week. I'm gonna take you on a flight of your life. A professional golfer is no stranger to travel and flying becomes a routine in their lives. But Vietnamese Michael Tran virtually experienced how it feels to be a pilot on his maiden visit to Kuala Lumpur's Sabang Sky Park. It was uh, something different, you know. Uh, first time I fly a plane, well, uh, a simulator plane, but uh, of course it's uh, feel much different than sitting in the passenger seat. The idea of flying an Airbus A320 thrilled Michael, as his fiancée, Quinn Li Dong Fung, works as a commercial pilot with an international airline. I like it because my fiance is flying the same type of airplane, so I like the way how the controller is set up in, in the cockpit. Michael's golf journey began when he was sent by his parents to study in New Zealand. He lived next to a golf course and started playing the game, considering it as a career option later. When I'm 16 or 17, I realized that what I want to do for a living. Then uh, I moved to the US after New Zealand and play a lot of tournaments there. And that's when I want to play on tour. He took up a golf management program in California and participated in a few amateur events there. But in 2008, his course took a back seat as he turned pro, making his debut on home soil. My first Asian Tour event was the Hana Bank Vietnam Master. And my dad caddied for me in that tournament. It, it, it was my first professional event, so it was nice, yeah. I missed the cut, but uh, the, the, the experience from it is good, yeah. I see it's a good tour and, you know, a lot of young players like me playing on there. So it's great if I could uh, do what I love and make a living from it, yeah. He admires US Open champion Justin Rose and Tongchai Jai Di, who helped him improve his golf skills. We talked about playing professional golf and he actually invited me to his house to stay for a few weeks before the Q School 2009. He told me like I need to play a lot of tournaments to get uh, experience because out here you know anyone could hit the ball good but it's what you think in your head that could make a, a big difference. Being Vietnam's number one Michael has had his shares of ups and downs. Despite missing out on an Asian tour card he's produced a few good results. Last year he thought about giving up the game totally but a tied third finish at the worldwide holding Salangor Masters changed his mind. I didn't expect much because it was going to be one of my last professional tournaments. I didn't do very well that year and uh, lost my sponsorship. So I tried to enjoy the last few games being a, a touring professional. But it turned out good and it kept me on the tour until now. Oh! What a finish this is turning out to be for Michael Tran. Forget going into the family business. I think you've got unfinished business on the Asian tour. And he credits this turnaround to his fiancée's continuous support. She said, just try to not treat it as a job, just because I'm doing what I love and, and not many people get to do it in their life. With a string of good performances after that, Michael is high in confidence. Despite using his country exempt status this year, he's looking to secure his future on the Asian tour. Right now, I've been playing okay to pretty good in some tournaments. But uh, the Asian tour is just where I really want to play good and sometimes I just push myself too hard and it, it worked the other way around. So. Uh, I would like to get into top 60, which, which I need to play very, very good from, uh, from now on to the end of the year. Michael's excited to see the Asian Tour return to Vietnam later this year, and he's looking to excel in front of his home crowd. There's actually a big golf community in Hanoi, and they like to watch professional golf, so hopefully they turn out. Yeah. I'm looking forward to do well in that tournament in, in my country. 
we wish him all the best for the rest of the season. This is your Captain Michael speaking. We have safely landed in uh, Hong Kong. Um, thank you for flying with us and uh, sorry for the rough landing. This, this is actually not my day job.